Hello everyone, I am Ankur Gupta. I work as a Java developer in Mindfest Solutions. This is my 8th video on Jasper reports. In this video, I will be talking about how to uh, use Jasper server for our usage. And along with it, I will focus upon how to like connect the repository with iReport so that the access becomes easier start with let me tell you about what a, what is basically jasper report now jasper report could be basically used two ways first of all you could embed it into uh, uh, your own application like uh, through an http application or a php application or in or in a web using web services you could uh, you could like uh, use the repository or the whole jasper server embed it into your own application so that it triggers according to you another is a standalone server application now this is what i will focus upon jasper report server is basically constructed on the fact that uh, wherein the reports could be deployed online and there is a role management system as well as you could define more users and define their roles which reports could they could see which they could edit and so on like it's a completely uh, a server a standalone server wherein you could deploy your own created rxmls and people around the globe could access it easily and they could work upon it and even you could export it into a desired format like as you could do in i reports like you could uh, you could easily uh, get the report into your PDFs or XLS or HTML or whatever you want to embed with. So, first, let me tell you what are the prerequisites. First of all, you need to have this any version of Jasper server onto your system installed. Next, you need to key in this localhost. This is the default. Uh, path to access the Jasper server basically onto a system once you have installed the server uh, installation file either a community edition or a professional edition then you need to log in with this default uh, credential that is Jasper admin and Jasper admin as the password and username this is for the admin role of the server like there is one more credential Joe user do user which is a uh, user as a user i will just show you so let me just show a demo so this is my browser i will just key in localhost eight zero eight zero which is my localhost Jasper server. So here I can see the uh, login page. User ID as I said the normal is Jasper admin. Password is same Jasper admin. Login into it. Okay. So this is basically your dashboard or your login uh, landing page after your login as we could see we, we are jasper admin user here we could log out or simply if you want to manage and see where in the roles could be set is i will show you the users which are there currently in the server i haven't created any new so the, these are all default users this is the anonymous user a jasper admin through which we have logged in a Joe user which I told you about. So see user is enabled. Role is ro uh, role administrator, role user for the Jasper admin. And the name is this. So these roles are basically you could define them so that you could assign it to the various users. So to do that you could define roles from here. The manage and this roles. See role administrator is for Jasper admin, role user is for Jasper admin, Jasper Joe user as well, and role anonymous is both. 
and you could do server settings from here like you could do olap settings from here or you could simply see the changes over here like cascading input control parameter i will get back to you basically on to my next video in this video i will just show you the very basics portion you could see the repository from here so this is basically a repository view here in this is a root folder now in here contains several samples which which are pre-installed like see these are samples now suppose i want to run this just need to click on this and it will run for us so this is how we could choose it like this is the parameters which looks a bit fancy over here so this is a plus point of jasper server basically you could see a more real graphics on this as see i have changed the filter over here so let me get on to the iReports so that I could show you how to link it basically the re repository. So to get the repository window you know, need to go to the window menu from the menu bar and then click on this Jasper reports server repository. Now let me just add a new one. Now the ID would be Jasper server localhost suppose this is my local and the username password will be same as Jasper admin Jasper admin this is the default as we have we are connecting a local host so we need to save it now we if we expand it over here we could see all the folders listing under the repository as we could see the reports and here see you could see all the all the reports here itself as we saw the department just ran on the Jasper report server here it is so this is how we could access the samples in the jasper report server now this is all the contents of basically the in the library if you could go on all the reports in the uh, server or repository will show on today with the created and the modified date itself so that's it for the introduction of Jasper server in this video. If you like my video, you could just follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Ankur underscore AUG or you could follow me on Facebook or you could just see my profile on LinkedIn or you could visit my blog www.ankurthetechie.blogspot.in So herein I have more of the Jasper post and uh, solutions to some uh, basic problems which people face on. You could just go visit this blog and put your views there. Thank you for watching my video. You could also visit the official website of Mindfair Solutions on www.mindfairsolutions.com and even post views and comments on my video. And if you have some queries or questions you can also put them in comments i will love to answer them thank you